The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. This reading is taken from the first book of Samuel, reading from chapter 1, verses 20 to 28. In due time Hannah conceived and bore a son. She named him Samuel, for she said, I have asked him of the Lord. The man Elkanah and all his household went up to offer to the Lord the yearly sacrifice and to pay his vow. But Hannah did not go up, for she said to her husband, As soon as the child is weaned, I will bring him, that he may appear in the presence of the Lord and remain there for ever. I will offer him as a Nazirite for all time. Her husband Elkanah said to her, Do what seems best to you. Wait until you have weaned him, only may the Lord establish his word. So the woman remained and nursed her son until she weaned him. When she had weaned him, she took him up with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine. She brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh and the child was young. Then they slaughtered the bull, and they brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who was standing here in your presence, praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me the petition that I made to him. Therefore I have lent him to the Lord, as long as he lives. He is given to the Lord. She left him there for the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hushed was the evening hymn, the temple courts were dark, the lamp was burning dim before the sacred ark. When suddenly a voice divine rang through the silence of the shrine. The old man meek and mild, the priest of Israel slept, his watch the temple child, the little Levite kept. And what from Eli's sense was sealed, the Lord to Hannah's son revealed. Oh, give me Samuel's ear, the open ear, O oh Lord, alive and quick to hear each whisper of thy word, like him to answer at thy call and to obey thee first of all. Oh, give me Samuel's heart, a lowly heart that waits where in thy house thou art, or watches at thy gates by day and night, a heart that still moves at the breathing of thy will. Oh, give me Samuel's mind, a sweet unmurmuring faith, obedient and resigned to thee in life and death, that I may read with childlike eyes truths that are hidden from the wise. 
The Gospel according to Luke, chapter 2, verses 33 to 35. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them, and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith, and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. A colic. For Mothering Sunday. God of love, passionate and strong, tender and careful, watch over us and hold us all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Loving God, thank you for mothers and children and for all the joy of family life. Be with those who are grieving because they have no mother. Be close to those who are struggling because they have no children. Be near to those who are sad because they are far apart from those they love. Let your love be present in every home and help your church. To have eyes to see and ears to hear the needs of all who come. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, like a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us, as a mother with her children. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness, we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, Bring grace and forgiveness for the beauty of heaven. May your love prepare us. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Strange and brave